Hey everybody, it's Tina from Happy Mail. How are you? I hope you're all doing good. This is a VR for Kathy's cards. She's having a altered Christmas CD slash DVD ornament challenge. There we go. I'll have the, her challenge linked in the description box below where you have to take a CD and alter it to make a Christmas tree ornament. So I did mine and I'm here to show them. Probably more or less a project share. This is my first one. A little snowman. And what I did on this one is I have a back and I put the lace underneath. And I have the paper here. It's got little uh, uh, snowflakes and stockings. And then I had this stick, this like chipboard piece of a snowman. And I glittered him. I'm sorry if you guys can't see. There we go. Uh, and he wasn't glittered. So I added some glitter to his packages. His little ski, his package, his scarf, his nose, his cheek, even his eyes and his little buttons has a little glitter. And I did some around the body. And then I put these puffy snowflakes. And that is my first one. My second one I'm going to call a church bell. And I just did this simple because I didn't want to take away from the church bell itself, adding uh, more stuff around it. And I did it the same way. This is the background. I used the same paper. And this is how this one looks. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> if you see the greenery and the berries on that church bell, it's so pretty. It says Merry Christmas in the center. I glittered this a little bit. Added some clear glitter just to give it a little reflection. And then I took these little green leaves I had Christmas. And I put some gems. And that's how I did this one. That's how that one looks. third one is my favorite. I kind of don't want to give it up, but I am. I worked. I just fell in love with this, how this turned out. And this was the one that took the longest. And I used this paper on the back. And this is what it looks like. To me, it looks like an old Chris Pringle. And it's red tone. He's done in red. And it says Merry Christmas down here. Now, this lace that I have going here on the handle or the, to hang it as well as going on the back side in the front I tea dyed that today because all my lace I had was white and I was trying to keep with the theme of the vintage look with the paper because the paper is like a off-white tan so I wanted it to match so I did a coffee pot water Got two tea bags, put it in a little bowl, and added it, and then added the lace today. And I say I left it in maybe a half an hour ish. I kept randomly going back to check because I didn't want it too dark because I wanted to stick with the color tone of the background paper. And I thought I did a pretty good job. And then I just added these gems on there just to give some little bling. I'm thinking of adding one right there. What do you think? Hmm. Maybe I should. And that is the third ornament. So, I will have Kathy's challenge linked in the description box below. So, please go give her a shout out and check out what she wants you to do. Very easy one. She will be giving these to like a senior center and they can pick their ornaments and hang them on the tree. So, and I put my little signature on there. The cow. And it says, homemade by Tina Massey. With a little cow on there. So, and that's all I got. So thank you for watching. Like I said, please go check out Kathy's Cards Challenge. It will be linked in the description box below. Bye, everybody, and happy crafting.